I never knew anything. I was suffering so much. And I am thinking that suffering is happiness. But now, out of mercy, Krishna has sent, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent some high class of devotees to me, for others also. Go and tell others. Like he sent O Bhakti Vedal Swami Maharaj, O Prabhupada, Gurudev, all over this world. Oh, why you are doing so many nonsense things if you want to happy? Please hear your name. Supreme Lord has come with his brother, elder brother, with Baldev Prabhu. Now he is Nityananda Prabhu. And they are telling like this, oh, oh, hear me and follow me. You should chant name. I am, I am taking the responsibility. Uh, all responsibility on me. You must be happy by this. Mm-hmm. How wretched you are, no harm. But you should be sincere. And then, oh Prabhu, I have come to you. In Navadri, very merciful place, under your Lord's feet, please be merciful, don't neglect. I want to serve your Lord's feet. Only I have only hope in this life, 
that you are so merciful. So he will see us if you do that. Very merciful. Give all kinds of things and try to chant like this. I remember when I newly joined in Devananda Gaudiya Math, big festival was there. Now did Dham Parikrama. More than 500, 5,000 persons were there. And so many scholars of Kirtan and Mridanga. And they used to do so much high class of Rash Kirtan and everything. But Guru Maharaj told them not to do Kirtan here. Anyone who is having Tulsi Mala, neck bits. Hmm? Oh, given up all anger and lusts. Those who persons who at once become angry and become at, at once very happy. Hmm? Oh, don't be with them. They are not um, qualified to do Kirtan. Those who are not these beads, not chanting, not following Guru, oh, they should not lead the Kirtan. Anyone? Oh, if there this transfer, the voice, voice is no arm like ash, no heart, <laughs> like donkeys. Oh, no arm. If they have all these things and follow Guru Dev, they are more qualified than any experts, those who are not following. Taking, smoking, doing so many things, not following their Guru Dev. Oh, we should not hear their Kirtan. Abhaishnav Mukhod Vinnam Utam Hari Kathaam Ritam Savanam Laiva Kartamyam Jat Sarko Jesu Jata. If they are not doing chanting, remembering, following the rules and regulations, very angry always. They are not qualified. They are... By name they may be Vaishnava, but actually not Vaishnava. Those who are following Gurudev, totally. And Gurudev is also high class. With them, oh, he can lead the Kirtan. Otherwise, it will be like poisonous. So we should try to follow. I know at the time of Swamiji, all were very eh, inspired, following him totally. And when he disappeared now, also we, I want to see them more stronger, more, more, more stronger. All the chanting, remembering positively and duly doing, oh, their Guru mantra, and then they will advance otherwise now. Now we want to hear how he saw made a saffron cloth devotee and what did he miracle? You can see it with him. Jai Shri Guru Day. One day while walking down life's long road Jnanam jana salakya chakshurun viritam jena tasmai sri gurave nama bancha kalpataru bhyasya kripa sindha bhyayvacha patitanam pavanibhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namo mahabadannaya krishna prema pradayate Krishna, you Krishna Chaitanya, Namne Gauga Tije, Gurave Gauga Chandraya, Radhikaya Itadale, Krishna, you Krishna Bhaktaya, Tada Bhaktaya Nama, Bhaktya Bihina, Aparada Lakshay, Shiptas Chakama Ditarangamati. Kripa Mahin Tvam Saranam Prapanna Vrinde Numaste Saranam Tavai Vashmi 
तबईवाश्मी न जिमा मित्वया बिना इति विज्ञान राधे संगनयमाम चरणं इति फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई माय थाउजेंड एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ दंडक प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पिरिचुअल गुरु देव नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु बाल कृष्ण भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज एंड देन शैम थाउजेंड एंड थाउजेंड ऑफ दंडक प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय शिक्षा गुरु नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु बाल कृष्ण भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज Oh, our classes are going very good. All are happy. I want that time to time. Oh, festival like this should be helped to help all others. Sometimes we be we are here. All are inspired. But when we will leave leave this place, then so many will become so weak. You so not be weak. You so try. You so try to follow your Guru Dev. All this. Don't uh, forget him and his teachings. If you want to be happy, I. Accept my guru, but I don't follow him. His instruction. What is this? Like nonsense. Nothing. Not by only by words. You should try to follow oh, from your core of heart. Each instruction what he has given is all important. You know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inspired Sudarup Goswami at prayer, and he gave one drop of rush from the ocean of rush, endless ocean of love and affection rush. Only one drop. And he gets so many things in the heart of Rupa Goswami, and that is why it has been told, Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamaniyam Dadal Shapadam. If you want to sit on a chair, you can go no harm, because you are feeling and you should go. <coughs> so we should try to know if you want to turn up your conscious Krishna consciousness. You should try to know Rupa Goswami and his instruction. That instructions are common to all. Should have. भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर शिल भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर और स्वामी जी भक्ति वेदान स्वामी जी नॉट गिवेन एनीथिंग न्यू मल्ली ही हैज गिवेन और सेम वाइन इन न्यू बॉटल व्हाट वाइन और लव एंड अफेक्शन बट इन न्यू बॉटल इन वेरी एट्रैक्टिव वे So we should try to follow. Only I'm this cycle; it will not do. From beginning, we should. And first is instruction, Rupa. Bajo bega, manasa, krodha bega, jiva bega, udar upastha bega. Just sir, ma'am. Sasar Bhaam Itimam, he is really good. 
he is pure Vaishnava. You should try to know all these things and to be, oh, what? <coughs> Observe in following all these things. Only coming and going and hearing will not do. What we are hearing, we should try to follow. Otherwise you cannot develop. First thing is that, if you are chanting, remembering, following your Gurudev also, you should always be care, very careful, very careful about attachment to worldly things. Very important. If you are chanting, remember, but always attached to worldly sense gratification or any worldly thing, oh, then you lose everything. You know, Bhakti Maharaj, very strong. Oh, he was ruler of whole world, universe at that time. Very beautiful chest wife, so qualified children, so many. And he was practicing bhakti yoga, but when he came in his young, matured young, uh, age, about half, half of his age, middle age. Oh, at that time he wa his age was 50,000 years. <laughs> you cannot imagine. And he gave up all these things like his stone. His kingdom, wealth, reputation, wife, children, everything. And he was detached. And how he came to do, develop his Krishna consciousness. But what we can, oh, you should tell something. Yes, he is standing here. You should give up. First, this, this, is, this good drama is going on. And after that, we will see any drama. Oh, give the... As Srila Gurudev mentioned, Bharat Maharaj gave up his entire kingdom to practice bhakti. He went to the forest and became so advanced in his bhajan that he attained the stage of Baba Bhakti which is like the rays of the sun, the first rays of the sun of Prema Bhakti. His advancement became so mature that he was able, able to see Lord Narayan in his heart. One day, however, while he was practicing his sadhana, he noticed that a um, deer, a pregnant deer, heard the sounds of a roaring lion, and in great fear she jumped across the river for safety. As she was jumping, however, in the middle her baby fell from her womb into the river. And when she saw her baby in the water, she was in such shock that she died. Now her baby was left helpless. Bharat Maharaj became distracted from his sadhana and became so much compassionate to this deer. He began to think of the deer as his own child and he began to imagine that he was having a loving relationship with the deer and that the deer could not live without him. So he gave up, gradually he gave up all of his regulative practices and became absorbed in taking care of the deer. One day, the deer disappeared 
and he became very frantic and began looking for the deer and just simply absorbed in this deer. Death came to him. When death came, he was absorbed in the deer and as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, whatever you think of at the time of death, you attain that state without fail. So Bharat Maharaj became a deer, but he had special mercy of Krishna. So much special mercy that actually he never really fell down because from the stage of Bhava Bhakti, one never falls down to this material contaminated platform again. It's too high, he's tasting too much. One who has the higher taste, he doesn't come back to the lower taste. However, to show us how strict and how careful and how attentive we have to be in our sadhana, because at any moment, any distraction can come and we can lose everything. So, to show us an example, he became a deer, but he was remembering, by Krishna's mercy, he had the remembrance of his past birth. So he roamed around the forest and found great sages who were speaking Harikata. And he stayed around them and simply listened. He advanced more and more in his bhakti in the form of a deer. And his next birth, he took the body of Bharat, um, Jada Bharat. Jada means dull, like I am Jada Rani, the queen of the dullards. <laughs> so he was Jada Bharat. He wasn't really dull, but he pretended to be so, so that nobody would disturb him. He was disturbed last time by affection for another being. But this time he wanted to be careful, so he kept everybody solidly away from him by acting very foolish. And his brothers used to make so much fun of him. He was born in a Brahmin family, but everything he did opposite. He would pass stool, he would wash himself and then pass stool, everything opposite, just to keep materialistic people away from him. Now, one day, some dacoits were looking for a person to sacrifice to Kali. Kali is a demigoddess and very demoniac people would sacrifice human beings to her thinking that they could get some material benefit by pleasing her in that way without realizing that as a great demigoddess she is a pure devotee of Krishna and is only pleased by devotion to Krishna. So Bharat Maharaj was put by his brothers to watch the fields, just like a scarecrow, just to sit there and watch the fields. So they saw that he was the perfect person to sacrifice. He was stout and strong. So they took him, they grabbed him, but he was very happy. He wasn't at all disturbed because he knew that Krishna is my protector and Krishna is my best friend and there's nothing in the universe outside of Krishna. So whatever Krishna wants to do with me is perfectly fine. So not protesting at all, he allowed them to take him to the temple of Kali where they fed him very sumptuously and they decorated him in ornaments and dressed him very opulently, garlanded him, and then got him ready to cut his head off to offer it to Goddess Kali. Just as they were about to do that, Goddess Kali was becoming more and more angry. She knew that Bharat Maharaj, that Jad Bharat was a pure Vaishnava, and she became infuriated at these Dakites who wanted to harm him. So she burst out of her deity form and along with her associate witches and demonesses she immediately sliced off the heads of all the Dakites and drank their blood and set Bharat Maharaj free. Then sometime shortly after that the king of that area, King Rahugana, 
was being carried on his palanquin by his carriers. One carrier was missing, so they had to find a very stout and strong carrier, and they saw Jadavarat, so they forced him to come and, and hold up the chariot. He didn't mind at all, because he was fully absorbed on the internal platform. Now he had realized perfection in this third birth, first as Bharat Maharaj, then as the deer, and now as Jada Bharata, he had reached perfection. He was a self-realized soul. So, he was carrying the palanquin without any objection, but just like that hunter Mragrari, who, after he became a pure devotee, by the grace of Naraji, didn't want to step on any ants, so he whisked them gently away with his cloth and then ran to see his Guru Narada. Similarly, Jada Bharat couldn't bear to step on any of the ants on the way, so he was walking in a very zigzag way as he was holding the palaquin, and the palaquin was shaking. So the king became disturbed and got off of his palaquin and began to chastise Jada Bharat and make fun of him. Oh yes, you're so skinny and weak, I can understand why you can't carry the chariot well, being very sarcastic. So, because a pure devotee is very merciful, and just like a tree, if you throw stones at a tree, the tree will return that abuse by giving you fruit. Srila Gurudev told a very beautiful story in Mawalamba that one king and his ministers were resting under a tree, and some boys were throwing rocks at the tree so that the fruits would drop and they could eat them. So by accident the rock hit the eye of the king and profuse blood was flowing and he became blind in one ear, uh, eye. So his ministers begged him, let us immediately punish this cul these culprit little boys. Let us do something very disastrous to them. Please give us order. So the king said, I am a king. Do you think I'm any less than this tree? They're throwing stones at the tree, and the tree is returning their stones with fruits. Do you think I'm less than this tree? Give them a portion of my kingdom. This is Vaishnava. So, Bharat, Jada Bharat was like that. So he decided to have compassion upon this poor king. Now the king was also on his way to pilgrimage, because he was also having some doubts about material life. And so this was the time that Krishna sent his pure devotee. As Srila Gurudev was explaining the song, Amana Dormati, that Krishna seeing, or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu seeing, our decrepit position, and when we become humbled by enough suffering, he sends his own person, his own Mahajan, Mahabhagwat, to give us the good news of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. So Jada Bharat wanted to show compassion upon the king. So he told the king, I'm neither fat, nor I'm skinny, nor I'm young, nor I'm old. And he convinced him about the existence of the soul and of transcendence. In order to give him more faith in himself, he said to him, Do you remember there was one great king, Bharat? Bharat Maharaj? Everybody knew of Bharat Maharaj, the emperor of the whole world. So King Rahugana said, of course I know him. So Jada Bharat said, that was me. And he told him of his three lives. And that gave King Rahugana so much faith. He fell at his feet and surrendered and heard about transcendental life, self-realization, and Krishna Bhakti from him. So Gurudev explained and purported this story that it's all right to have compassion for others. And it's all right to help others. But if we help and be attached at the same time, just like suppose we see someone dying on the road, should we not help them thinking, well, they're not their body anyway, and I'm busy serving Krishna? No, we can help them, but be detached. And after we've helped them, continue our bhakti and not be absorbed in our relationship with them. So this is Vaishnava, loving others, being affectionate and helping, 
particularly those who are under his shelter, but without attachment. And Bharat Maharaj gradually attained that perfection, and so Srila Gurudev is also helping us by teaching us through these life examples. There are also so many teachings in this, oh, not a story but actual thing in Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm? He left his wife, children and a oh, big wealth and reputation and kingdom, everything. And he came in forest. And he was chanting, remember. But he has some attachment for that dear child. And what began? He forget everything. So don't be attached with anyone. First, you can help them. But not giving up your all devotion and everything. Secondly, if at the time of dying, you are thinking your wife, your husband, your children, your trees, your creepers, your dogs, especially dogs nowadays. <laughs> then you will have, at the time of you are thinking your dogs, you will come as a dog in next life. You must be dog. So nowadays, oh, I am seeing everywhere so much dogs. So, at the time of death, we should remember Krishna and his associates, Mahaprabhu and his associates, that it will bring you, that you will come as a true devotee, associates of Krishna. As Bharat, unknowingly, he was attached to deer and he became deer. So un unwillingly, if at the time of death you are thinking or chanting, remembering the associates of Krishna with Krishna or Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu with his associate, surely you will be a very pure devotee. Very pure devotee. No doubt at all. So try to chant from even today that at the time of death you should not think about anything else. You know that at the time of death anyone cannot control his mind. As he cannot control our mind in the dream, bogus dreams comes that we should not do and we cannot control. At the time of death you cannot control the mind. What you are doing now, oh, all will come at that time. If you are doing bogus thing, bogus things will come and you will be ruined. So from today we should try to do so much observing Krishna Bhakti that at the time of day oh, automatically that thing should come and we should observe in that. Also, oh, a devotee like Bharat, Bharat Maharaj, Hmm? In next day, next, next time he became he deer, but not he was living with deer. No affection for deers, made female deers, or child or anything. He was always hearing, always sitting with high class of devotees. Hmm? And at, that, that, <coughs> at the time of death, what did he be? Oh, he went in Ganges and he was praying, Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Huh? And what he became? Oh, now he became a Brahmin. <coughs> Three lifetimes he has lost. But if you are lost, him, losing, chanting, remembering of Krishna, not so strong, then you will lose how many? Bus, lakhs and lakhs, but you will lose. Anyone cannot help because you are not a devotee like him. 
if you will lose this chance that Krishna has given mercifully this body, human body, not for sense gratification, not for doing nonsense things, only to realize soul and Krishna and to serve Krishna. And by this human body we can be only liberated from these things and we can have love and affection. But I know that we are not giving so much importance or to, to, to practice bhakti yoga. We are giving so much hmm, energy for only worldly things, for money. If money will come, we will be happy. Always engaged. Even giving up devotion, hmm, practicing bhakti yoga, we are doing. And what fruit will come, you know, only these bad things will come. You lose the chance of realizing Krishna and or um, um, Krishna consciousness developing. So <coughs> this is perhaps last day or tomorrow something. Uh, but I want to tell you that don't lose this time. In anything, you can maintain your life anyhow, by good jobs, you can do. But not observe totally. By maintaining your life, you should give your whole energy in Krishna consciousness. Chanting, amen. Don't have any false ego. Never. Never. So what Rupa Goswami has told? We should try to follow. I will tell you what he has told. Today is the disappearance day of Vrindavan Das Thakur, who wrote Chaitanya Bhagavan. He is the Vyasa of Chaitanya Lila. How we can... His mother, Narani Devi, she was anyhow connected with Sivas Pandit. Yes. And she so used to take some remnants of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he used to do kirtan there. And by that, Obindavan Das Thakur came in his home. And he wrote Chaitanya Chaitam, Chaitanya Lila. He was going to totally glorify Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he began to glorify his Gurudev first, Nityananda Prabhu. And it was very good for him and for all. And then he, what he, uh, had some, something, and afterward, Binda, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, as a remnant, he has written all this. So that means, Krishna Dashka Vyas Goswami has told that he is actually Vyas, who? Banda Bandashan. And he is oh, taking some remnant like Maha 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 Prasada. So today we should pray in his little faith that he should sprinkle mercy to us, that we should be like him. To glorify Gauchanda Nityananda Prabhu, Gurudev, and Radha and Krishna and his associates. So I told you <coughs> that Sri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Sthapitam Jaina Bhutani who established the what? Innermost desire fulfilled his innermost desire. Of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What was his desire? <coughs> Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came? You should know. You should try to reach uh, Chaitanya Chaitamritam. You can know. Otherwise, very not. You should hear all these things. Always with a question. Don't talk, my dear daughters. Don't talk. Don't talk. Give your ears to me. Otherwise, you lose everything. Only some ten minutes time you should hear and try to follow. 
So what I was telling that Sri Chaitanya Manodhishtam Sthapitam Jinnam Bhutam. In this universe, Srila Rupa Goswami, knowing the object of coming of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually is Krishna. He wanted to he wanted to relish the love and affection of Radhika to Krishna. Very high. Very high. So he begged the mercy of Radhika and to in a donation what his love like Mahabhav, more than Mahabhav. And his beauty also. Srimati Radhika is so merciful that he has some power to give something to Krishna also. Because Krishna has accepted him, her, like his friend, his servant, maid servant, his guru even, everything. Radhika is, oh, as a whole she is perfect. She can serve Krishna. So he took the intrinsic mode of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, um, Krishna, and beauty, golden beauty. He was very beautiful, most beautiful. Why? There were two reasons. He was Parama Rashik, and secondly, he was Parama Karun. He was very Rashik. Rashik, you know? What Rashik? And secondly, he was very merciful, causeless merciful. Ramchandra has come before, prior to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna has come prior to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Or so many greatest scholars and very high class of devotees have come in this world. Hanuman has come, Pandvas has come. No? Even <coughs> Jadev has come, so many has come, but anyone has not given like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mercifully gave. What did he give? Unnat Ujjwalar Shamsi Bhakti Shriyam. He has given a party a mood. How to serve fully Krishna, that Krishna can be controlled. Not only like Sattva Rukmini, like Sita, no. He discovered a new thing, totally new thing. That, what is that? That I am not wife of Krishna. What she is? He is Sarup Shakti of Krishna, she is. But even to give so much uh, relish uh, to Krishna, to satisfy in all ways <coughs> that a lady can do, because marriage, marriage, marriage the wife he is like a maid servant. So very hard for him to serve Krishna. So Srimati Radhika his, and all his manifestations became like what? They, have, they are married to another. And, but they have so much Love and affection for Krishna, only love and affection. So where there is something hidden, like, and there is so much shame and so much durlabh, rare, rare. their love and affection increases. And that is called upapati bhav. What? But not pure meaning, or parakiya. But anyhow, 
चैतन महाप्रभु कैम टू गिव ऑल रागानुगा मार्ग हाउ वी कैन फॉलो गोपी ही कैम टू गिव दिस थिंग एंड दिस इज रेयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड दिस वर्ल्ड वल्ली चैतन्य महाप्रभु के सो इफ यू यू वॉन्ट टू सर्व कृष्ण इन राधिका यू मस्ट फॉलो चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉट मीन ऑलवेज वेर इज कृष्ण विदाउट कृष्ण एंड माई हॉर्ट इज ब्रोकन लाइक दिस ऑलवेज टोटली ऑब्जर्व एंड ही हैज नो टाइम टू राइट एनी बुक only eight shlokas he has written and for other things he wanted to write but when when a mood of radhika used to come and he used to become totally mad prodding down the or who will write so he could not write so he ordered and inspired his all mood sin Surup Goswami, and he has given in his books, especially in Lalit Madhav, Vidag Madhav, Ujjwal Jain Badi Bhakti Goswami. Everything is there. Hmm? Surup Goswami gave all these things, high things. But how to enter? First, we should be qualified. You know. <coughs> You know, crows. Huh? They like, they like their fruit like bitter fruit like lim. And cockroaches, very tasteful, very sweet mango. So, in this world, those who are like crow. They will not appreciate that mood of gopis, and those who are like very high class of kokil bird, kaku bird. One pointed to Krishna, following Siddharth Goswami. Quickly they will be qualified to enter in this the realm of bhakti. First, we should follow from today. If you want to enter in that realm of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bhakti, what? Bhag ve, mano ve, krod ve, jiva ve, udar ve, upast ve. What is that? This is the verse. Only meanings, not so much. Shri Rupa Goswami is explaining the six pushings. Which destroy one's bhakti, and how anyone who is free from these six pushings, he is qualified to be jagat guru and make disciples all over the world. The six pushings are uh, the pushings of the mind, the pushings of the uh, words, the pushings of the tongue in terms of eating, the pushings of the belly, the pushings of the genitals, and the pushings of anger. These six pushings. So you should try to follow all these things. Oh, you know, your tongue has no backbone. We have backbone. She has no backbone, but very powerful. If you are not controlling your fish, then you lose her fish. And all kinds of bad things will come in. You know, Mahabharat. In Mahabharat, for lakhs and lakhs soldiers, and Pandavas and Kauravas, all were killed. Why? Only one word was there. Of Draupadi, it made it get a big problem of. Fight like Mahabharata. She told to Duryodhan, "You are blind as your father. Like father, like son. 
and he was upset. Oh, I will take revenge. And thus, he wanted to make naked and to sit on his. He wanted to insult her. And for this, oh, big work. And all the strong personalities of persons were killed in that. No one was saved, only five Pandavas and Krishna and three persons towards uh, were saved, all were. You know why Raman and that battle between Ram and Ravan came? Only with Misha Aftan that Sita did. Ram, Chandra, <coughs> Sita and Lakshman were in forest, no? In that Dandakaranya. Oh, Ram Chandra has the vow that I will kill all demons, those who are uh, like Badha in Bhakti. Obstacle in devotion. Devotion. But in the meantime, Ram Shende, his messenger, and he took the shape of form of a very golden collar deer. And he was looking towards Sita and also taking some grass and attracting Sita. <coughs> Sita was so much attracted. And she told to his husband, Ram, I want this deer. I will present it to Kaikai Vaidya. Or if you cannot catch, then shoot it. I will take its skin, skin, skin and also I will bring it there. Anyhow you should bring either death or alive. Ram told Lakshman that you should look after Sita and going. And he followed. But he saw that he was demon. When Ramchandra showed him, at once he told, Oh, Lakshman, 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 save me. In the tune of Ram, Sita heard from there. She told Lakshman, go at once and save your brother. He is in trouble, problem. Oh, he told that, Oh, I know that uh, he has no trouble. And he is very powerful. The sound is not of Ram, but sound of that demon. Hmm? So Ramchandra has told me to look after you. I cannot go. But she became upset, very angry, and told that, Oh, you want to be with me and you want to marry with me? Hmm? It cannot be. Hmm? I will put suicide, but not I will be with you. You are a a spy of Bharat, who has come only to, huh? that Ram should be killed and I will be with you. Oh, it cannot be. Oh, Lakshman could not tolerate this. This was the misturn of Sita. He make a circle by his oh, dhanush, bow, and told Sita, I am very sorry. I am going to follow Ram where he is. I know that he is well, but you have made me upset. You have told like this, I cannot tolerate. But even, oh, you should not go out of this line. I have done some line and something is there. A mantra is there, very powerful. And telling me, went. In the meantime, Ram came in a form of a Brahmin, a Rishi, or so many long hairs, with a tridanda, like us tridanda, very tridanda, or oh, this is. On the sandal, wooden sandal. And he wanted to cross and to take Sita on the chariot and to fly to Lanka. But what became? When he kept he sandal on the on the circle. At once flame came. Very powerful. And he went back. When he 
used to cross the line, but he could not cross. Then he began to shout, Vekshang Dehi, Vekshang Dehi, Vekshang Dehi. What is the meaning? Give me all. Give me all. Give me all. If you are not coming and giving, I will curse you and your husband will be died. Hmm. She told that I cannot come out of this circle. Hmm. You should take. Oh, he told that I am not like a sadhu like this. Very powerful. I want that you should come. Otherwise, just now I will call Shram, uh, your husband, and he will die. No one can say, I am very powerful. Sita feared, and when he crossed the and he took her, her on his chariot and he flew away to Lanka. And for this, big battle war, world war began. And lakhs and lakhs were killed. Only sleep of time. Don't be angry. First give up your anger. Control your tongue. And then you should enter in bhakti. So, Growth from where this comes? Oh, we have so many desires, and that is why it is come. Give up all the desires. Only have one desire: what to serve Krishna and Guru. <coughs> all other desires should go forever. Desires are being wealthy, to make money, to make friends, to all these things. Oh, you should try to give up. In thousand and thousand past births you have done it. This is not first time that you are going to do. This is not. In lakhs and lakhs past births you have col collected not only wife, one wife, or lakhs and lakhs, and not only one husband, not only five, or oh, how much? Like prostitutes. You know, hogs and pigs, how many husbands and how many children? You have been there. <coughs> and you have hogs and pigs, so even. Sometimes the demigods, goddesses, some here and there, so beautiful, so ugly, everywhere. You are also fishes in ocean here and there. But no, anyhow, not satisfied. So Krishna mercifully has given this life. So these six regulations should be followed. And this is, I know, the root of all evil. And we are engaged totally in this. And for this we are quarreling ourselves. And then next is Atyahara Prayasasya Rajalpo Niyama Rajan Sangasya Laulancha Sharvi Bhakti Vinesya. What is this? Oh, Pundari Vidyanidhi. Very short. I am telling you all this thing. Don't take it off from your ears. Take it in your heart. In this second verse of Upadeshamrit, Atyahar Prayasascha Rajalpo Niyamagraha Jana Sangas Chadolhencha Shadvir Bhakti Vinashyati. So be prepared for your drama play. Who is going to play? If anyone is going, there should be. Very soon. Srila Rupa Goswami Ji is telling us those six things which destroy our bhakti. Very sure. The pursuit or the endeavor which we are trying to make in Krishna consciousness, it has danger from six things. And what are those six things? Atyahar, overindulging of senses in their sense objects, not just eating everything. When we do that, what happens? Then we are completely taken over by the sense objects and our intelligence is completely lost. We cannot distinguish anymore between 
good and bad. By performing which action we will we will liberate ourselves, we forget that. So we should try to control atyaha, overindulging in sense objects. Then prayasas cha. What is prayas? Prayas means <coughs> endeavor in regard to our needs. As long as we live in this material world, we have some needs for this body and they must be fulfilled. In terms of money or food or living, making a house, whatever, we make some endeavor for that. But it should be within the limits of bhakti or favorable to our performance of Krishna Consciousness. If we want something, maybe we are thinking it is helpful for bhakti, but it's not easily attainable, then what we should do? We should give up the idea to have it. But instead of that, if we keep endeavoring to get it, to acquire that, for example, one may feel, oh, it's good to read scriptures, I must read Shastra. So, in order to read Shastra, I must know Sanskrit. So, now he makes a plan to learn or study this Sanskrit language, which is so hard, it's not very easy. So, what he should do? He should see whether he has that ability to educate himself in that field or not. If he doesn't, he should simply pray and follow whatever he can do. Otherwise, that will be an over-endeavor and that will deviate him from his goal. It applies to everything. Now, third thing is prajalpa. What is prajalpa? Prajalpa means useless talk. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saswati Thakur, in his commentary to this verse, he points out what is useless talk. The talk of all the karmis. Karmis means people in this material world who have the idea, who has this idea that only by satisfying this body in this world we can be happy. So politics, economics, etc., etc., are the only ways by which we can be happy. So they make the whole affair to live in this material world centering around this idea. And then talks of muktivadis, those who want to attain liberation. Their talk is also considered as useless talk. And third category is of Anyabhilashi. Who is Anyabhilashi? The person who superficially has taken up to the process of Krishna consciousness, but he had so many other desires. His mind is not fixed, is not fixed, he is not focusing his endeavor. So he talks uselessly about worldly things or... Oh, we have no time, so very short. So this is Prachal, one and minute. we should <laughs> avoid this. Then, Atyahara Prayasascha Prajalpu Niyamagraha. Niyamagraha means, it is two things. What? Being overly rigid in performance of rules and regulations of bhakti. Too much attached. Not knowing the essence why one should follow the rules of bhakti. Or, agra means not being very enthusiastic to follow the rules and regulations. Both should be uh, avoided and one should have a balance and one must understand the goal of following rules and regulations of bhakti. Janasangascha lolyancha. What is Janasanga? Janasanga means again that desire to accumulate so many ideas other than the idea of bhakti or for name, fame, etc. And lolya, having greed for all these things. So, Sri Rupa Goswami is saying that we should very carefully avoid and uh, make sure that we don't indulge in these six items and thereby destroy our bhakti. Hare Krishna. So, which are favorable for Krishna bhakti, we should take it. We should follow. Those who are not favorable for bhakti, we should reject very 
strongly. So two shlok for rejecting all these things. These are not favorable. But what is favorable? Utsaha, Nishchaya, Dhariya, Tattakkan, Pravartna, Sangatyagya, Sadavit Bhakti, Prashitya. What is this? You? Utsaha. Utsaha. Very enthusiastic yeah. in all circumstances to engage in activities which are favorable for attaining <coughs> our goal in oh, bhakti. When you are going to practice bhakti yoga, so many problems will come. But try to keep your feet on the heads of all problems. Don't be angry. Don't. What has been told you should follow totally. But always be overt. Enthusiastic. Don't be depressed always. Oh, what should I do? Oh, always suffer. No. Always be inspired. Enthusiasm. Second, Nistayas. Being very, very determined yeah, to, under all circumstances, engage in these activities which have been given mercifully by Guru and Vaishnavas. Dariyat. Having so much patience, oh, I don't mind, even if the goal doesn't come very soon, I will continue to be in that association. This is my only uh, solace and shelter, to be in the association of devotees, high-class devotees, and I'm sure one day the result must come. All are telling this, and already something is there. So very patiently we are continuing our activities tolerating any difficulty, as Sri Gurudev is telling, on the head of all the problems, we will continue to engage in spiritual activities. Tatat karma pravartanat. Being very concerned that we follow properly the process. Always shamanam kirtan vishu shmanam. Always following this. Not neglecting these things. Then, Tatat karma pravatanat sangha kyagat. Avoiding the association which is not helpful, which is actually bringing us away from bhakti. Those who are drunkards, smokers, liars, bad persons. Oh, you should do pranam for very far away, if you like bhakti. Whether it is so much dear, but even you should try to avoid them. You should give worldly some praise to them and keep them far away, have, having no con- um, spiritual connection. But you can give him some worldly thing, like money, like these things. Never be attached to these kind of associations. Try to avoid as much as possible. Then last, sixth item, which is so much helpful in attaining pure bhakti is satovrite. Satovrite means to follow the example and the ideas, the instructions of the previous acharyas. Whether we are in Grihastha ashram, sannyas ashram, brahmachari ashram, any ashram, we should see what our acharyas have told and by their own example have shown how to practice bhakti. Yeah. Then it comes. How you can honor of oh. Vaishnavas, according to their quality. And how we should do? Dadati pratigrannati, Vuyam akyati, Pichati bhumti bhojate chayuvar. What is this? Very short. So here, Sri Rupa Sahibad has told how to extend six things with devotees. Dadati pratigrannati, you have to donate something and have to accept something from devotees. Guiyam akhati trichati and you have to open your heart and have to learn from his inner mood, what is in his heart. Bhumte bhajayata chayiva You will feed him and you will take his remnant as a prasad. So if you do these six loving exchange with devotees, then you will increase in Krishna, Krishna consciousness. But if you extend these six things with sense-enjoyer persons, sense-enjoyers, then your 
bad habit will increase by this. So we have to be very careful. We should not exchange all these six things with any sense and air. We shall try at our level best to exchange with Vaishnavas. Then we will develop in Krishna consciousness very quickly. Try to give proper respect to Vaishnavas. Those who are Kanishta, those who are Madhyam, those who are so many kinds of Madhyam, or so many Uttam class, you should try to give them. But how you can? If you are yourself Kanishth, you cannot. So by hearing high class of association, or you can be like Madhyam Adhikari, and then, or you should do. Don't disrespect any high class of Vaishnava, whether he is sometimes become angry, like Durvasha, like others. <coughs> Hanuman became sometimes angry. When? In Lanka. And he burnt whole Lanka. Why? Oh, that's where against Ramchandra, Bhagavan, and devotee. Vrindavan. Thakur has also told. Oh. I went to what? Kick on the heads of the criticizer of Nityananda Prabhu. So this is good. But not for a devotee. A devotee may be like this. His, he may be shobha. Nature. Nature like this. But he may be pure. So try to realize all these things. If you have no taste, no? in Harina, oh, again and again you should do follow. Don't be distressed. Don't be hopeless. hopeless. Again and again you will do. This is the medicine and also diet, diet also. Harina. And then what is the essence of all instruction? Tannam rupa charitadi sukrit tannam kramena rasana manasi niyajya tishthan prajeta danuragi jananugami kalam naeda khalam ittu padesha. In essence, whole teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes in this one slope. <coughs> be always in Vrindavan. If you cannot be Vrindavan by your body, or even by your mind you should be. And what do you? Chanting and remembering. Chanting Krishna name. Remembering the past times of Krishna. In the guidance of very Rasik and Tattvagya. Vaishnava. And then this is the essence of everything. Now, our today class is finished. But you should go not empty. Hmm? You should take something which I is going coming to give you. Hmm? For these instructions you should take forever for your life. And if you are not doing seriously from today, you should do, follow all the instructions. And you will see that, oh, you will be happy for it. Rama is ready. Uh, Hare Krishna, we have registered the name for initiation to Samayana Didi. They will come tomorrow in the morning uh, while Buddha is hosting about quarter past eight. And don't have not given their name, please register your name with Samayana Didi. And male devotee must be saved there here for female devotee no need to save. Hare Krishna, so tomorrow.